photos for the book, a lot of that was, I tried to match them to what I thought were flashpoints or like the major moment that really defined the section in the book that I was talking about, right? And that would be almost iconic to the issue. And, you know, when you do read the book, there's more images, I think, in the first half of the book than in the second half. And some of that was, you know, images are expensive, especially contemporary images, so rights and all the stuff. But it was also because, you know, the earlier things that I talk about in the book, most people don't know about. So it was really important to include those images so you could see. Whereas, you know, when I start talking about OJ or I start talking about Bill Cosby, it's like, do I really need an image of that for you? Like, I think people most people and even if you don't know it's easy to google and you know it's in the ether so those were sort of the decision making like how many images and and what sections of the book do we really want to emphasize the images and which sections do we maybe feel like we don't really need um too many images um but it was really important to have a lot of images like that that was something that we actually decided when i say we i mean like the editorial team because you know, the public needs to know this. You don't write a book on your own. <laughs> like you write the book, but there's a process and you work very collaboratively with your editor and the team, the copy editor, as you get closer to, to print. And so as we got to print, it was sort of a decision like, okay, how many images, where should we place them? Because even the placement was given a lot of thought, like in terms of the chapter. Um, and that was, I was just grateful that Coach House Books allowed me to be part of that process because sometimes you're not, um, as a writer, you don't always know how they're going to lay out the images in your book. Um, but I was part of the process. So that was, that was fun. Uh, 